so in today's video you are going to learn how to enter the opening balances for all the accounts so you're going to click on company and then chart of accounts view accounts okay so let's go to our very first account which is cash we have a cash balance opening balance of cash is uh, $200,000 so you see uh, there is an opening balance uh, box here so type in $200,000 okay save and close so it says in order to balance your account a credit of $200,000 has been added to retained earnings so we are debiting you know what happened here is that we debited our cash account and credited retained earnings so every time we enter an opening balance for an for an account so it, it's going to either debit or credit or retained earnings account. Next uh, account is, is our accounts receivable control. So let's click on accounts receivable control account and then we have a balance accounts receivable opening balance of $12,000. Save and close. So this is the money that we are going to receive uh, from customers so it is composed of two customers so let's add those two customers and then we have to uh, enter these balances in their accounts as well so to add those clients you have to click on client and revenue and then client add client so one of the client name is Limerick Corporation okay so Limerick Corporation save and close now go to that uh, Limerick Corporation view client and double click there here if you click on this uh, right arrow here you'd see historical transaction click there on that tab and then invoice you can just put any invoice number we don't have any invoice number so just we can put one two and the date of the uh, date of the opening balance is 30th of november and then the amount maybe is eight thousand dollar record so it has been recorded maybe the other customer name is um, uh, Marsar Incorporated. So let's add that uh, customer here. Marsar Incorporated. So save and close, and then double click again on that client, and then again uh, right arrow here, historical transactions. Click on invoice. Any invoice number. That one was twelve. This one could be could be thirteen, and the opening balance is. $4,000 so these two together will be equal to $12,000 so we are done with our um, with entering the balances for our clients now we'll go back to our company and then chart of accounts so the next account opening uh, opening balance that we are going to enter is uh, accounts payable control so let's go a little bit down because okay, so accounts payable control here so the opening balance here is uh, 12,300 so again we owe this money to uh, on or more of our vendors in this case I would consider two vendors that we owe this money um two and uh, those vendor names uh, are not here set up yet so we are going to add these two vendors so suppliers and expense we would click and then suppliers here add supplier okay b2b corporation save and close Okay, so again go to supplier, view supplier, then double click and then historical transaction again here. Invoice, any invoice number 45 and then probably this, this guy is 
we owe we owe uh, eight thousand three hundred dollar to B two B corporation. There is another vendor that we owe some money, so it could be A B C corporation. Okay, and then we are going to add a save and close, and then double click on this uh, on this vendor, and then historical transaction invoice. 53 number and then the amount will be the amount will be 4300 so invoice number is 53 the amount will be 4300 record so we are all set up with our um, accounts payable balances opening opening balances and accounts receivable opening balances now let's look at some other um, asset accounts uh, building we have a building uh, the building account is set up already so we are going to enter the opening balance for that account let's find that uh, building account here it is a building building account opening balance is 150,000 and then it has an accumulated depreciation uh, accumulated depreciation is an is a contra account for building but it is appearing uh, in the asset section it has normally a credit balance so uh we have to put a negative sign before the balance so maybe the balance is 12125 opening balance so we are going to put the more important thing here is that we have to put a negative sign before the amount and then save and close similarly we can set up all other asset accounts now let's look at um, let's look at uh, dividend dividend is a, uh, is a is a is an account um, in the equity section but it has a equities all equity accounts has a credit balance but dividend has a debit balance so similarly here in the dividend amount when we put the opening balance we have to put a negative sign maybe 5000 dividend five thousand dollar worth of dividend was paid to the shareholder so negative five thousand seven close